A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus appointed 72 others whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. Whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and say, The dust of your town that clings to our feet, even that we shake off against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God is at hand. I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord 72 Others The work of Jesus is characterized by collaboration. Aside from the twelve apostles, Jesus empowers 72 other disciples. Their task is to lay on the groundwork in every town and place that Jesus will visit. In the work of evangelization, Jesus teaches us the need to get ourselves organized and not to settle for sloppy work and haphazard initiatives. Jesus invites his disciples to look into the future and helps them see great prospects for the mission. Their primordial duty, integral to actual mission work, is to pray to God to send more laborers for his harvest. They are sent in pairs so that they can look after each other and give credence to their witnessing. In Jewish society, a statement given by one witness must be corroborated by at least another companion. The disciples are sent on a mission of peace and are told to be like lambs among wolves in the face of attack and rejection. They must remain meek and humble and live simply by trusting in divine providence. Saint Therese of Lisieux is patroness of the missions because she offered her life, prayers, and sacrifices for the missions.